Hello everybody and happy Sunday. So happy to see everyone again. I definitely enjoy once a week coming in and telling you all these stories about Jesus because Jesus is alive and anyone can believe in Jesus. And that's what we've been talking about the last few weeks. So this is going to wrap up how we can believe in Jesus and all the great stories that we've been learning. So like I've been saying all week and asking or the past month is who can believe in Jesus? That's right. You can believe in Jesus. Everyone can believe in Jesus. And to summarize, we have learned that no matter who's different than you, you can believe in Jesus. No matter if you've even been kind of mean, you can believe in Jesus. And that's the most important thing is that every single person can believe in Jesus. So this is our last week with our memory verse. And remember, it's in John 20, 31. And I do have my notes. As you know, Miss Danielle always has her notes just so I can make sure I go through everything just right. So let's do it together. You ready? All right. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And that is again in John 20, 31. It's been great going over this Bible verse with you. Make sure you study it because learning the Bible and learning our Bible verses helps us tell everyone about Jesus and why we believe in Jesus and how he is alive. So today, we are going to learn about a guy named Peter. And I wonder if you've ever heard about Peter. If you haven't, I'll tell you a little bit about him. Peter was a fisherman. And you probably know what a fisherman is. Hopefully, you've had the chance to go fishing. Miss Danielle loves to go fishing. I go once a week, even though I hardly ever catch anything. We just love it, and it's a great time to spend together as a family or with friends. So, Peter, the reason why he even believed in Jesus was not only because of his faith, but because he saw Jesus with his own eyes. Now, the one thing that Peter was told to do from Jesus is to tell everyone about him. And Peter had a lot of best friends, and they made sure they told everyone about Jesus. So Jesus told all of Peter or all of Peter's friends that he was going to have to go somewhere, but that he would be back. And do you remember the story about Jesus on the cross? That's right. That's a story we usually tell on Easter time, but that's what Jesus was trying to tell Peter that he was going to go on the cross and that he was going to die for our sins and for forgiveness. But we all know that after three days, Jesus rose from the tomb and everyone was amazed and he was alive. And that is the story that Peter was told to tell all of his friends. So Peter's special job was to go to everybody and to let them know, no matter who they were, whether they were his friends or strangers or anybody else. So one day, Peter was at home and strangers knocked on his door. Can you do a knocking sound? I can't really do one here, but they knocked on his door and they asked Peter, come in our house, we wanna hear about Jesus. And that is what Peter did because that is the special job that Jesus gave Peter. So Jesus went into their house and told them all about Jesus. And that is because he wanted everyone to know that they can believe in Jesus. He believes in Jesus and all his friends believe in Jesus. Because what is our big story and everything that we've been going over this past month is that I can believe in Jesus. And friends, that is very important so we can tell all of our friends that no matter what, Jesus can be in your heart and that you can believe in Jesus. So thank you for joining me. We are so excited again to be able to do this every week. And I know Miss Danielle really loves being able to talk to you. So let's go ahead and pray. And then I will see everyone again next week. Dear God, we are so thankful that we are still able to meet once a week, even if it's by video. I know I love knowing that all of my friends from Sunday school get to learn about you. 
And I definitely love that no matter who you are, no matter where you came from, no matter what you look like, or even if you were just a little bit mean before, I do know that I can believe in Jesus and I love telling all my friends and even strangers that they can believe in Jesus too. Thank you again for helping us all meet together so we can learn more about you. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you, friends. Make sure you study up on your Bible verse and go through your Bible and learn more about Peter, especially because he was a great fisherman and that he was very faithful to Jesus and did what Jesus asked him to do and told everyone about him. I'll see you again next week. Bye.